Hello friends, welcome in OCP technology. My name is Shripal and uh, today I am going to demonstrate you how to install Oracle ASM in Oracle 11G with RDBMS instance. So let's start how to install it. Just open a VMware workstation and going on home tab and just create a new virtual machine next select your ISO image okay and actually we are configuring we are installing it on Oracle Linux 5.5 5.8 okay so just select it and this next select Linux and uh, select the Linux version here we are using the Oracle Linux in that tutorial so using Oracle Interpret Linux then next okay then choose the location where you want to store it machine just uh, open it click on browser that uh, suppose i want to store it in the details just click here and uh, create a new folder and change the name of that folder like uh, i have given the name is uh, aura underscore asm underscore rd bms okay so just okay now change the name of your machines you can try i have that uh, asm plus rdpms okay so just click next and give the memory disk space suppose i'm giving here 50 gb you can use that store virtual disk as a single file okay just click here then next just customize your hardware given the ram is 2 gb and uh, cd dvd use iso power just choose your iso image from that location and uh, this is the iso file and then close okay just finish it and click on the power on virtual this machine okay just click here so click inside and then enter just skip the disk checking next 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 would you like to in initialize the drive erasing all data yes okay yes. then click the here and choose the create custom layout and then next and uh, make your partitions here just click here new and uh, swap its minimum 2 gb and maximum 4 gb it's depend on your ram uh, for 096 i'm giving here 4 gb okay then okay then i'm creating one more partitions 
suppose you are creating a root pass root partition and giving here the uh, 45 GB then okay now we have remaining only 5 2 GB space so we are using that space in the another partition but uh, right now I'm creating here only two partition root partition and swap partition okay just click on next next now <coughs> this is your network uh, configurations and uh, you can uh, edit the ETH service also if you want so otherwise you can done this after installations also so I'm uh, doing this right now just click uh, the edit button and uh, use the manual configurations and give me here the IP address 192.168.1.10 I'm giving here 1. Dot, suppose I'm giving here 1.50 okay then uh, not net mask 255.255.0 and uh, enable disable the IP6 uh, then okay and uh, oh, we are also change the host name so I'm giving the host name here ASM underscore rdbms dot local domain and next okay just like this next continue continue okay choose the location that right now I'm located in the India and Asia Kolkata our location then next even the your, your root user password it's that what you want you can write here this time giving that so next just uh, click on the customize now and next and uh, choose the appropriate uh, packages genome and applications you can choose this all and uh, click on development you can choose the development library development tool genome software development also sorry and Java, KD, Legacy, and X software. Okay. Then in the development tool, you just choose the partition uh, packages, something more like. Uh, is JCC 44 and JCC 44 C and that okay and I'm going in the base system also in server select FTP server and base system uh, admin tools system tool and the legacy software also this software support and uh, just optional packages here it's and uh, choose the compare db clause then then system tool in the system tool <laughs> you can select the Oracle ASM required packages this is there we have required also these packages Oracle ASM this ASM this ASM and ASM support actually we have need one more uh, RPM which is the Oracle ASM library so right now it is not available here we have, we have need to download it from internet and then install it so i'm going to close it 
then next okay then next now it will take some time for the installing your operating system so that for that time I'm going to pause my video then continue okay okay friends now reboot your PC your installation has been completed just reboot your PC virtual machine ok friends just uh, after reboot click on forward button and yes I agree the license agreement then forward just disable your firewall and forward yes AC Linux also is disabled and uh, forward yes then forward forward next forward and continue just forward and finish then ok me two minutes okay friends so let's start your Linux rebooted so just log in with your root user and uh, <coughs> do something actually uh, right now in my uh, in our uh, platform the VMware tool is not installed that's why your cursor is not released from the uh, Linux server automatically that time you have used the uh, uh, control and alt button then you can release your cursor from Linux, uh, from Linux machine so firstly we have to need uh, uh, install VMware tool so just click here and install VMware tool click on install button <coughs> okay close it just open it and then close it okay just open a new terminal and try to add a command like this tar hyphen jdx media capital V and tab capital V and tab enter So let's cd v capital small v and tab and dot forward slash small v and tab just just uh, hit the enter every time you just hit the enter. Just wait. Maybe yeah. tool is initializing your hardware.
just read the into So choose your, your screen resolutions. My screen resolution is 12, I just want to 12. So it's saying the enjoy the VMware team. So just uh, once uh, reboot your system using Unix 6, then we can do the work without any problem okay just login again <laughs> so let's continue with the configurations I have need the this this one file so I'm copy that file in the VMV machine it's there where is it? what happened here? where is it? okay just open it and uh, use it open a new terminal and use this so in the first uh, uh, chapter uh, first step is will it will say in that uh, create a group for oracle user <coughs> actually in that case we have need to uh, use a first one is a uh, oracle and second one is a uh, grid user okay just create it and uh, for asm instance just create that groups copy and paste it okay now create uh, two user first one is oracle and second one is grid okay with the users and the pa password with paste here So a password command in front of you. You can uh, set the password for Oracle user, right? And then set the password for Grid user. Grid. Okay, it's successful. Now in the second, third steps, you just have to create a uh, some folders, directories, which is mandatory for the oracle user and grid user okay so just create it okay now then give the permissions in the first fourth steps just copy this and paste here so enter. now in the fifth steps it will say that set the set this parameter for oracle for oracle user best parameter file okay so just copy this file this there and copy it and just login in the oracle user switch user oracle and just open the best file parameters bash underscore profile so just open it <coughs> so just paste here so you can see the all the records are pasted here just remove the space from between that
be careful in So you can see your Oracle SID is ORCL and unique name also is ORCL, right? So just uh, save it. And uh, then it was saying set the bash file parameter for grid user, okay? Just copy it. and uh, switch in the grid user okay then open the bash file parameters file and uh, just copy paste here and as you know just remove the blank space be carefully from there Okay, so our Oracle SID ASM is plus ASM, right? And uh, this is the Oracle home and this is the base Oracle base path. So let's save this file using this. Okay, now in the seventh step, it was saying that <coughs> please add the etccctl.con file. So just copy the parameters here you all you can set that file using that copy it copy and paste here just paste here as it is it will automatically configure that file okay then apply that parameter as been cctl hyphen p okay and then in the next eighth step just set the resource limit parameters so just copy it and paste here okay. all the parameters are set now configure the global profile setting run as a root user so just copy it copy and paste here so just enter just copy it and paste okay now in the step 10 create the linux hard disk using vmware adding three hard disks after adding hard drive we have need reboot pc but uh, for avoiding reporting the machines to mount the hard disk run below commands so you can if you want to uh, avoid the reboot your machine so just for the mounting your hard all hard drives you can use that particular command for the mount the hard drive so so let's see create the create some hard drives so just go in the vm tab and the uh, setting and add button yeah so we are going to add hard drives to so just next 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 i'm going to add 20 gb a 10 gb hard drives and suppose i'm giving here 10 gb next finish one more next 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 10 and next next one more next 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 10 gp 
and just next finish so here I'm adding three hard drives which is size is 10 10 10 GB okay so just okay so as you know your hard drives by default is not mounting wh whenever you want to when uh, still when you sit down and reboot your PC so you can see F disk hyphen L it's showing only one drives which is a default drives hard drive which is name is SD SD and which is have two partitions SD1 and SD2 okay so I'm going to uh, mount all the hard drives which is I'm um, adding right now so for that I'm going to run this command so right here now you can see your hard drive is mounted SD D SDC SDC and SDB right so we have three hard drives S D B C and D. So now it was saying that uh, uh, now <coughs> make the partitions of on three hard drives. So using that command, so I'm going to make the partition in the S D P. So just let's see S D P. Enter. For helping, you press M. I'm going to create a new partition add-on so we have need to create press the end button so and then enter primary partitions partition number one enter enter is the default then enter then for viewing the partition is this created or not so press P so it's showing the SDB one partition is created here and uh, for the saving that partition just press W and enter okay again repeat that uh, met, uh, method for sdc and sdt so just i'm going to c and p1 enter enter w and sdt and p1 enter enter and w so you can see your all hard drives partition is created you can see there sdt1 for SDD, SDC1 for SDC, and SDB1 SDB. Okay, okay, fine. So now it's saying that add the permissions for that hard drives. So just copy it. And paste here. For that configurations file, you can visit on my official website www.ocptechnology.com. Okay, so it is my official website. You can visit on my official website for the configuration file and uh, visit in the Oracle uh, Oracle 11G uh, folder, and you can see that uh, topic in that. Uh, okay so now make sure that this software must be installed in your system for configuration ASM so you can see that the, these all are RPMs should be installed in your system so let's see I'm going to install it so and firstly I'm going to port my DVD just uh, browse that mm, this is my DVD connected ok so my DVD is mounted so CD I'm going to media oracle linux server so here you can see your all the RPMs. So ls we have need to Oracle ASM start Oracle ASM. So we have need to install these all our RPMs. So let's see RPM hyphen UVH Oracle ASM. 
this this three zero I do not have EL five X Just install it already installed so ASM library is not ASM library you can see the here is ASM support so we need have to Oracle ASM this one Oracle support and Oracle library and Oracle ASM so here is only Oracle support so I'm going to install it support Enter. it's already installed so uh, now we have need to oracle asm library software so i'm going to copy it from my window actually i have downloaded it in the window so oracle asm library this is the software and i'm going to install it Or is not copy and paste paste here. Okay, it's coming. Okay, it's coming here. So just install it. It is on window. Uh, so desktop. So going on desktop. You can see the here your RPMs. RPM hyphen UVH or equalizer this. Okay, so it's completed. So let's see what is next. Now configure ASM and create ASM disk. So just using that command and configure your ASM. chair then enter just uh, default user to on the driver interface because of that it is a ASM so your first uh, in driver of ASM user is grid right so I'm right here grid then enter then it will be asking the group of owner the driver interface so I'm going to give the ASM admin then why then why accept that so your disk is created so now make a ASM disk run as a root user that command so your ASM disk is automatically created using that commands Okay, just copy it and paste here. And so your volume disk is created. Now make a folder or okay. and give some permissions this user. Okay, and then you copy your all the uh, softwares in that folder or in Oracle folder like ASM grid software and ASM and uh, Oracle 11 g software. This is the software exists in my window. So I'm going to in window and copy it my Oracle folder. So let's just run it. Set the preference. this oracle this is the oracle folder i'm going to copy the all software here 
okay this is the oracle grid okay i'm just copy it and paste here okay so it's done now i have we have need to copy the eleven g first you it's uh, um releases eleven point two point one and also grid is eleven point two point okay it is mandatory for the same so just copy it Okay, it's done. So just going back to this. Okay, delete this folder. It is empty. So we have need to unzip this all file. So I'm going to unzip it using commands. So just going in the Oracle folder. And you can see that there is the all that folder. So firstly, I'm going to unzip the grid software. So unzip Linux grid. The Oracle. Okay, it's done. Okay, I'm good. Okay, it's done. So you can see here the two another one folders, another two folders is created automatically here because of that it's it will be created after grid unzip and it will be created after database this folders uh, unzip. Okay, so let's continue. Run the run installer. Okay, so almost finish so now <coughs> connect with the ASM user grid user and run the run installer okay friends just log in as a grid user and uh, run the run installer okay so I'm going to log in with the grid user here. So just open your terminal. And CD. Oracle. And grid. So let's see here run installer dot run installer okay just enter this and swap also minimum 4 GB okay just uh, so the install and configure a grid infrastructure for a standalone server just next 
choose your language then next okay then select all disk then next okay then next so you can set the grid user password over there so I'm going to set the grid user password okay so you can see the uh, conditions what is the condition password for, for the grid user password actually actually it must be uh, minimum 8 character okay so you can read the all the password notification from there okay so just next next okay this is the uh, oracle base location and this is the software location that means oracle home locations okay so it is default but just next next so it will be checking the all the parameters which is the need for that so it will show in that error uh, packages we have need uh, these all are packages actually okay so before the uh, installations we have done this rpms install in its operating system so let's see i'm going to install this all our rpms okay so just be careful before that you should have to configure your uh, em server on your system so for the em server you can view my previous video okay uh, let's I'm going to install the solar okay let's I'm going to install the solar pin using uh, EM server just open a new tab and uh, connect with the user a root user so just right here yum install which one are you going to install like this one okay just right here So it will be installed. Next, uh, first and second will be same, and then next is sys state. Okay, just right here. sys state hyphen seven dot zero dot two and right here. Next is Unix or DBC. So just Unix or DBC.
let's have more dependencies so it will take some time let's just have four dependencies actually Last one is Unix ODVC hyphen devil. So now I'm going to recheck, check again, let me check again. So it will resolve all the packages problem. Now we have only one error like this, it's not a big deal, uh, just fix it, click here, fix and check again. So and uh, run this script as a root user. So copy it and paste here. So now just click OK after that and you can see it will be resolved automatically. Okay, so you can see now you can click on finish button and now your grid infrastructure installation will be going on. Okay. So for that time I'm going to pause my video okay. so okay friends it's on two script which is we have need to run as a root user okay so let me run this this uh, scripts as a root user so just copy it and paste here enter and then copy second one just and next copy paste here okay so it's a bit done then click OK. Are you sure want to continue? It was showing the error. But actually, I think uh, it is. just click here and retry it why it is failed execute that script I'm also running this script just a minute script will be done second one Second one also is okay. Second one is not done actually, so run it again.
Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, done. Now, okay. So you can see here, your all is done, and uh, next one is progress in progress. So just wait a moment. Okay, it's done. Then close. Your grid infrastructure will be installed successfully. Okay, just close it. Okay, now your grid is done. So just log in in the grid user. You can check the all informations like. Select name from V dollar instance. So you can see uh, your instance name is ASM. Okay, let's continue. Now I'm going to install the RDBMS software. So just log in with your Oracle user. Okay, just log in. Load grid. <coughs> in with Oracle user. Let's open a terminal. Okay, just CD or it and uh, database so let's just run the run installer here all condition are passed you can see here okay so just follow the instructions Okay, just uncheck it. I was to issue and uh, next, yes, install, create, and configure a database. Okay, next, choose the server class and next, single instance database and real application. We are using a single instance database installation. Okay, next, advance and next. Just choose your language and then next. Okay. Enterprise edition also is done. Uh, okay, next. This is the Oracle base path, uh, base path and Oracle home path is it. 
so we just next general purpose then next so just giving here database name ORCL ok then next oh, SID also is ORCL ok the next just uh, click on sample schema and create database with sample schemas ok then next <coughs> ok that's next nothing do there ok now ASN storage management so we have need to assign the password of ASN storage which is you remind uh, which is I am giving the in previous when we are installing the grid user uh, grid instruction uh, infrastructure okay so I am giving there the password okay just next okay so do not enable automatic backups okay just next Okay. Uh, you can see here the disk group name which is we have created okay and uh, then next so set the uh, password for the admin users for admin instance so just uh, use the same password for all accounts so just I'm giving here just next next okay just finish it now your installation is begin okay so it will take some time then for that time I'm going to pause my video let's click on password management and set the password for your database users like for the CSN system password for the CSN system user what uh, password you want to use and uh, also uncheck the Scott user and uh, set the password for the Scott user then we have need a uh, one more uh, user like uh, HR so just uncheck it and set the password for the HR user okay then uh, if you have need any one uh, username so just uh, check uncheck this okay yes okay Okay, it is asking do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, just okay. So you can see here your all the database installations will be finished. So it's showing then uh, one script which is we have to need to run as a root user. So just copy it click here and then copy it and 
just uh, log in as a root user so just paste here and run it Okay, then okay. So you can see here all the database installation will be done. Are done? Okay. For the Oracle Enterprise Manager, you just run this command. You can use that command. Okay. Just close it. Okay. And uh, check the database uh, solutions like just SQL plus SSDB. Select name from VDRL database. So database name is RCL also, and uh, select instance underscore name. There. Sorry. So here's your instance name is Orsher. Okay. One more thing, uh, we can connect here using uh, grid user and check the instance name also. So you can see here the. Instance underscore name from Google. Instance. So it is a ASM instance. Okay. So friends, your Oracle ASM instance with RDM instance it will be done. It was done. Okay. So I hope uh, you found that video very informatting for you. And uh, <coughs> if you found it very informatting for you, so just uh, like my video, subscribe my channel and share my video in your circle okay if you want to give any suggestion to me so just uh, uh, write in the uh, comment box and you can mail me also uh, ocp techno at gmail.com okay and uh, for uh, more information you can visit on my official website www.ocptechnology.com okay friends thanks for watching and thanks for listening